Norman! Oh, is this the same fate waiting for me in three days? This album refreshed my memories. Nicholas brought her to our house. I provided her with a home and a mother's love. Nicholas, my son, decided to marry her. But she left him just before the wedding and broke his heart. Now her spirit is wandering around here and killing travelers. Here, take this. It opens a compartment in my office. All the information about this treacherous girl is in there. Nicholas, my boy, what you hear now is going to be unpleasant. It took a long time to collect the proof for you. My beloved husband and your father, Daniel Bennett, passed away when you were just an infant. You and I were left alone in this heartless world. I tried to bring you up following the best traditions of our noble family. You were such a good boy and loved reading most of all. You comforted my heart. You had it all. Education, traveling, servants. I had hoped that you would find a worthy girl from a good family in the best university. Imagine my surprise when I received a telegram from you saying that you were returning home with a bride. You are only 23. Why get married so early? I waited for your arrival in dismay. As soon as that woman crossed the threshold of our house, I realized the truth. All she ever wanted was the money we had worked so hard for. I studied up on your precious Emily Meyer, an orphan without a penny to her name. She had been our guest for some time when I noticed that our family jewels and silver started disappearing. watched her steal those things. She handed over everything she stole to her accomplice, who I'm certain is her lover. Yes, Nicholas, I'm sure. She doesn't see her love and happiness in you. As soon as she is finished with our fortune, she will leave you. Now you know everything, my dear son. I have torn the mask from Emily. This girl isn't a match for you. We must be smarter than she is. Let's say goodbye to her before she ruins us. I guess she couldn't leave well enough alone. Better make sure she's okay.
Thank <laughs> you.